scratched. So Giants Castle, late scratching, refused to load. And the gates are open, racing from the 1750 metre marker. A thousand tunes, secret givers right there, the initial stages, Blood Eagles eager, victory twist. That has the red cap, also looking to settle into a rhythm, just has his head slightly up in the air. Going around them, all said and done. Grey Lingari, there's four or five of them stacked up. Secret Giver at the rail, probably just pokes his nose in front now. So Secret Giver, just about the leader. All said and done, the blue cap around them. A thousand tunes, Grey Lingari. Death blows at the paint. Victory twist, only four lengths off them. They go around the turn there. Tracker Jack is six and a half, seven lengths off them. Tinker Taylor, Blood Eagle gets a niggle or two. That's got nine lengths to make up. Who the back is Young Nelson, come on council. Mr. Babies around them, Bravo Badger's also about to get a one or two shakes. And then comes Celestial Gate, who's probably not going to win from there. Homeward Bound, Secret Giver, only... Trainers runner on the day for Gavin Van Zayl. Warren Kennedy says go and secret giver. Give it a beautiful kick. Goes two and a half to three clear. Victory twist is the danger on the outside. A thousand tunes then death blow. Secret giver's now got to find more. Victory twist on the outside's looking to run him down. But as they come down to the 200, secret giver's got a length to spare. Victory twist is trying to eat into the lead and he's doing so with each and every stride. Secret giver, but victory twist is now claiming him the last hundred meters and victory twisters going on giving all the right answers secret giver second tracker jacker then came young nelson and fourth well as i was telling my colleague on my right here tony riverland it's obviously a it's a good day for bad tipsters we were having a bit of a chuckle because uh, like Beckoning Beauty, I was quite big on Victory Twist. And we'll talk to uh, Tony in a moment. But let's first congratulate Tamela Mveli, who's the gentleman who looks after Victory Twist. He takes home a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and on behalf of Gold Circle. Well done to you, Tamela. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tony, you said you weren't, let me just alter that for you. You said you weren't really listening to the preview, and I don't blame you, <laughs> jokes aside. But I just said in the preview, he, he, he seems to be a type of horse that doesn't really help the jock in a race. He seems very big, very lazy, very lethargic. Am I right? That you're right, Warren. He is, he is a big boy. Um, I must be honest, he hasn't run for two months. I was worried I'd actually been doing a little bit too much with him. He looked a bit flat in the parade ring because he, he's got an amazing constitution. He really eats well. I was worried about him yesterday. I took a blood. The blood was perfect. I thought, well, you know, he's got to come and race. Um, he's been a bit unlucky in a few of his starts, so he really should have been a good thing here. But, you know, um, lately things haven't been going so well the last two months. We've been having some unfortunate rides and horses finding trouble in races all the time. So, you know, you get a bit on the back foot. But I must compliment Don Donovan. He had him up out of, you know, when they jumped, I said, if that's the position I would have asked for, that's where he was. So from there, it was whether he was good enough or not. Actually, I was a bit worried at the 300. I thought he was laboring a bit, and I thought, hmm. I don't know if he's going to get to Gavin's. I don't know if he, he got to Gavin or if Gavin slowed down. I'm not sure what it, what, what it was. But um, obviously delighted for, it's a family affair. You know, Patrick Rivelin, my cousin, he's got to share with me. Mary Lally, of course, and um, also family and Gerard de Roval, you know. And it's wonderful that um, I pulled him into this horse. And um, I hope it makes him feel a bit better. He hasn't been that well. And so well done to them. These emerald uh, black and red colours are uh, well well known amongst the family and have been around for a long time lovely to see them back in the winners enclosure yeah my late uncle's colors and um some very good horses harry hill raced in those colors um yeah they were very lucky colors i saw patrick uh, was at the stables some time ago he had some lovely photographs of this horse victory twist and lovely to have the family involved and lovely that they share the same passion yeah of course it's wonderful patrick's always loved it and um he's fortunate now that he can afford to own a few horses so uh, it's great that he's got involved lovely tony and uh, Nice chatting and all the best. Thanks a lot, Warren. Lovely. Let's get Donovan in for the second time today. Uh, you certainly, I, I've heard you talking to Mr. Riverland in the winner's enclosure here, and you had to earn your, your riding fee, and whether it was the Warren Kennedy's horse uh, uh, stopping and your horse gaining, whatever it was, you've won. That's the most important thing. But he doesn't seem to have th had the penny drop yet. Yeah, 100%. You actually hit the nail on the head there, Warren. Uh, I don't think the penny has dropped with this horse yet. 
he's still very immature. When he, on the way down to the start, he was looking, having a good look at everything, even though he's been here and he's raced here before. Uh, I was a little bit worried. I warmed him up a little bit behind the gates and uh, I woke him up a little bit. He pinned the gates quite nicely, which uh, I think that's, that's where he basically won his race. Uh, he allowed me to get him into a nice, comfortable position. He's a, he's a big striding horse, but, uh, and, and he feel he could over race if they, if they had to go slow tempo, but uh, he was just nice and comfortable during the race. Um, he ended up on the rail eventually, but um, look, uh, he won a cracker. He's, uh, he went to go fetch that horse. Uh, he took his time to, to find himself, but uh, he went to go fetch that horse and uh, he put it to bed there. Well, well done. You've made uh, Patrick and Gerard and Norma and Tony and Mrs. Lally and all the owners very happy uh, because you couldn't, you, 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 it was a ride that you, you had to be on your guard. You had to keep on with him and you've got him past the line first. Well done. Thanks very much, Warren. I obviously just want to say a very big thanks to uh, Mr. Evelyn, obviously, Terry, his whole team. Um, I, don't, I can't get to them quite much in the mornings, uh, work for Peter at the same time, but uh, kudos to them, all credit to them. Uh, they brought us here in good condition to win today. And then obviously very big thanks to Mrs. Lally and everyone else involved. Really appreciate the support. Well done, Donovan. Two for you. Let's hope you can snatch another one later. Thank you. Lovely. That's two winners for Donovan Dillon. So far today are doubles. Double for Donovan Dillon, double for Bulan Stud. And uh, look who's bred Victory Twist, uh, the Rousseau family, late Sid Rousseau. They've uh, bred Michael Roberts' as winner earlier on, and they've bred Victory Twist. So uh, there we go, double for Donovan, double for Bourland, double for uh, the Rousseau family. Well done to them. Patrick and Fenella, Gerard and Norma, and Mrs. Mary Lally. Well done to each and every one of you. This horse has uh, given us a few heart-stopping moments, but uh, he's eventually gone out and fetched a uh, the horse that was in front and he's put his uh, you know he's put his nose down and uh, on the finishing line and won well for you so five one nine and eight those are the numbers that you're going to need see you just now